hi viewers welcome to feed viewers world thank you for watching so today's topic is their current thoughts and feelings about you versus the karmic yes it's a new reading new topic in our uh, channel because till now i never did uh, readings on karmics but i think this is the time to start doing <laughs> readings on karmic okay uh, so that's why today i choose the topic about you versus uh, karmic that third party that can be anything okay that can be their family their friends their job the distance whatever it may be okay so it's a pick a pile reading you need to choose one pile whichever you are drawn towards but it is about like uh, their current thoughts so there can be anyone so you can watch for multiple people so when you are watching for multiple people you choose multiple piles then take some time between the piles don't watch continuously okay uh, let that uh, energy clear give some time to clear those energies and move to the next pile okay so let's get into the reading <coughs> pile number one who choose white pile so white pile whoever choose white pile So, pile number one who choose white pile. So, here it is like their current thoughts and feelings about you versus karmic. So, here exactly I can say this is your energy. I will read the energies, whichever energy is matching with you, it is you and the other one is karmic. Okay. So, take the messages as per your energy. So, here the zodiac signs 10 of swords, mm, 10 of swords Gemini, 10 of wands uh, Sagittarius and morning the world awaits you awaits you so their current thoughts and feelings about you versus karmic now i said two energies one is ten of swords completely ended painful ending happened if you had some painful ending with this person then ten of swords energy is yours and one is ten of ends this person feeling a lot of burdens on their shoulders or your relationship became burden for this person with you dealing with you be, uh, became very burdened to this person if it is you <laughs> then take the messages okay so here the current thoughts and feelings here no need to worry because we are watching for you versus karmic but the thing is this person is not happy with anyone first thing they are not happy with themselves so when you are not happy within yourself forget about the world okay no matter you have third party four party five party hundred party no use because you should be happy with yourself right and here this person is not even happy with themselves they are completely mourning the world awaits you I, mean, I think this person is actually this person don't know what is love what is relationship what is emotions what is feelings they are they are completely unaware of all these things or at least in this situation who, wherever they may be uh, this person don't even understand what is that maybe for the sake of connection or uh, one way it is like codependence issues they may be in this connection because i think this person want people who are like codependent in their life i hope you are understanding this person want uh, people who is codependent because if they are codependent they won't leave this person i hope you are understanding so for this person the relationship means uh, other person should have that codependency issues because this person don't know how to keep people in their life by having healthy relationships i hope you are understanding right so whomever for whomever you choose this pile pile number one <coughs> don't get triggered actually you are dealing with this one person who is don't know the don't know what is relationship what is healthy relationship this person only knows codependency because they themselves is a codependent and uh, they want people also whomever coming into their life also they should have that codependency issues if at all they don't have also this person have the ability to make that people to depend on them okay and here we are seeing two energies as i said 10 of swords 10 of hands first thing maybe they are dealing with you i want to take this 10 of hands as you because one is completely ended but anyway as i said in the initially whatever ma energy matching with you take that energy but for my comfortable comfortability i will take 10 of hands okay uh, as you 
so here this person feels the uh, current thoughts and feelings about you like ten of wands this relationship became very burden to them the reason i will tell you don't get triggered when i said that this relationship became burden to them it doesn't mean that you did something wrong actually the problem is them this person themselves is a problem this person don't know how to maintain the healthy relationship if you carry healthy relationship no matter it become 100 years old 200 years old it still have that essence it is not going to lose that essence of that connection that relationship but here the problem with this person is this person themselves is a codependent and whomever they get into their life they make at least other person is not codependent also they'll make that person codependent by taking all the responsibilities on their shoulders if they want to as simple as maybe you are not a codependent person you may be very independent person you may be well educated well uh, like well responsible person you know how to handle yourself everything you know but after coming into this union with this person in the connection maybe this person showed lot of love and told that i want to take everything you no need to do anything you just do. sit on the uh, bed i will <laughs> i will bring everything to your feet okay so you thought that wow it is a love this person loves you so much that they kept you on the pedestal that they can do anything for you they don't even let you to uh, keep your feet down i hope you are understanding so they treated like you they treated you like in that way so in that process what they did they took all your burdens on their shoulders cooking i am going to do it darling you don't need to do sit uh, washing clothes i will do take care of kids i will do <laughs> paying the bills i will do everything they did they did what will happen when you are taking all the responsibilities what will happen maybe this person is not doing out of love they are doing simply because they don't want you to be independent because if at all you are independent you are okay to do everything by yourself you are going to leave them they hold that fear and insecurity that is the reason why this person is like i will do i will do i will do what will happen after one month you will completely depend on this person until unless this person want to bring the coffee you can you won't wake up from the bed because you are habituated to that bed coffee you are habituated to the breakfast until unless this person want to cook that breakfast and bring it to you you won't eat breakfast because you are not habituated to go and go to the kitchen and cook for cook prepare breakfast for yourself that's how they made you to like that's how they completely make made you depend on them okay now also they are taking that responsibility i'm not telling that they throw that responsibility this it is still carried but the thing is what will happen it became 10 of hands first one month it will look good in the initial it will look good oh i have a very great spouse they are taking care of everything okay they are treating me like a king king not able to maybe after some time it will become burden same thing is happening with this person now your relationship became 10 of hands for this person because they need to do their work they need to do your work they need to take care of kids they need to take care of bills everything they need to take care of and if at all they ask they cannot even come and ask you to take some burdens because they are the one who told that i am going to take all the burdens you no need to do anything so that is also one reason now they cannot come to you and tell that please darling take some of the burdens because i cannot handle it they cannot tell <laughs> moreover they are still in that codependency issues if at all they tell also if you ready to take that burdens also they have that fear that you will become independent you are going to leave them that is also one reason they are unable to come towards you and tell that it is becoming burden i cannot fulfill all the responsibilities with you their thoughts and feelings is like this relationship become complete burden they cannot move forward they forget their own goals own aims they lost that passion in their life na at, at least it not just in the life i think here they lost passion in the connection also see even one person is doing 24 by 7 365 days all the work when they are going to feel that fire that passion hmm? <laughs> same thing when they see also they won't get any mood they won't feel any sexy romantic feelings nothing <laughs> it became like one materialistic life that's it if you switch on the fan yes fan is running if you switch on the ac ac is wa- working if you off it is gone <laughs> so that's how it became okay their current thoughts and feelings also here i'm not telling that they want to drop the burdens but they need to drop today or tomorrow it is going to become heavy they cannot move forward either they need 
want it or not they are going to drop it but as of now currently their thought feelings are it became very burdened they lost all the passion towards the themselves towards life towards the connection everything so they became like 60 years old even though they are just in 30s but they, their energy is like 60 years maybe in the in the initial days they used to take you out they used to do a lot of fun partying with you now they cannot do if you ask also they cannot do no darling i don't have that that uh, energy they lack that energy they lack that passion they lack that fire so they lost everything because of this ten of wands because there is no balance completely this connection went imbalance and other person that can be karmic ten of swords energy maybe uh, this person as i said this person themselves is like a codependent person they hold lot of in insecurities fears lot of issues within themselves which they need to fix before getting into the connection but maybe they are don't want to do that that is also one reason whomever they are getting into the connection they just want that person to depend on them maybe they did the same thing to the uh, karmic also they want that karmic to depend on them they want to take all the responsibilities of the karmic they want to fulfill all the wishes of karmic because here they are feeling burden okay <laughs> listen to me carefully here with you they are feeling very burden so when the karmic came they may be thought it is a new connection new thing maybe with the karmic they won't have this many burdens so let's move to the karmic so that is the reason maybe they get into that other person they brought that third party where they felt that little bit less burdened okay but again because it is their nature okay it is their nature that wherever they go with whomever they make that contact connection they may maybe it is intentionally or unintentionally this person have that uh, temptation of putting people on the pedestal and making that other person to depend on them because it will give one kind of uh, assurance to this person that that person is not going to leave this person the reason because that person need me that person depend on me so because of that need also they are going to stay with me okay so here maybe third person don't need this person that karmic maybe they don't want all those things maybe they are okay with whatever they have and when this person put that person like brought this person to uh, that third person that karmic into this situation they may be try to do the same things whatever they did to you and the, that karmic is i don't want to give maybe it is completely depends on their situation but it is ended completely in a painful way the third party is like i don't want anything i am very independent or i just don't want to deal with it is like 10 of swords they gave all the swords and they out of this connection they went out of this connection so with this person they are feeling like 10 of swords or at least this person more than this person here i am seeing that third person gave that 10 of swords the reason is this person already having 10 of wands is there any chance to have some more wands on this person's shoulders but still they try to do it because they thought that if the art person that karmic come into their life this this person can give this half of the burden to that karmic here i don't know why they don't want to share that half of burden to you either you may be rejected to take that burdens or they may be have fear that if at all they give that half of burden to you you are going to run away from them it is completely depends on your situation better you know better than me okay <laughs> so they may be approach you to take half of the burden you said that ah, fuck off i'm not going to take anything you are the responsible person you need to take care of everything okay <laughs> because they thought that okay let me have someone as a third party karmic so that they will come and take my half of burdens why that third party will take half of burdens it is nothing to do with them and moreover this person already holding 10 of hands we fit all this person ask time also they won't give if this person want emotionally sometimes this person want time they can't, they cannot give that time because they don't even have time for you how can they give, give time to third party <laughs> so whatever in in this situation whatever happened between both of them it it end up in a 10 of swords energy maybe that third party gave the 10 of swords energy and uh, they left the connection now this person feeling like towards who it is became very burden towards the third party it is completely painful ending maybe this person also did something maybe whomever came into this situation as a karmic they may be also expected something in out of this connection right when we are getting into the connection definitely people expect something out of that connection so they may be expected something and here this person failed to do everything 
they are nothing fit this person is fit for nothing because they need to heal themselves before getting into the connection this person need to fix their own shit until unless they won't heal they are not good for anyone not just you not just the third party because this person hold issues within themselves it is not about you it, it is not about the third party it is be because of their own mindset it is their own issues they need to fix that shit before entering into the connections so here whatever now about the third party they are feeling completely painful ending if at all they they don't even have any chance to go back to the third party because it is 10 of swords which is like a death it is complete ended painful ending that too so there is no way to go back to that third party and uh, start something new with that person okay and with you also i don't think you are watching that's why i'm telling you this person already hold 10 of wands and don't know when they are going to drop the burdens and the suggestion for you is the world awaits you you became completely codependent on this person you completely dependent maybe that's why i'm telling maybe initially you may be not a codependent person you may be very hard working person you may be very independent person you may be very professional person but because of this person now you became like a lazy ass don't get triggered you should understand the situation okay you should understand the situation and you thought that anyway this person holding 10 of hands it is their responsibility they promised me everything that they are going to fulfill all my wishes so they need to do it today or tomorrow they are going to drop the burdens what about you so you should think about it okay here you need to wake up and take your own responsibility it is not that this person is going to drop that's why you need to take you have your own life right so instead of depending on this person even though they are ready to do everything take your own responsibility have your job if at all you don't have any kind of career get your career into the track because this person is very near to drop that burdens once they drop that burdens you cannot do anything because they already lost everything i think now you are with this person still you are not happy the reason is they are in ten of hands what is the use of being with someone who cannot bring that fire passion anything into the connection they are not in a position to invest anything into the connection they are simply taking one responsibility like a father father we enjoy those gifts till 18 years that too after 18 years even father also tell that beta already you got your complete your studies go and get the job even our parents also tell the same thing right so very soon they are going to drop this burden so my suggestion here card also suggesting you to go and uh, look for your own career or at least to come out of this codependency issue because you already became codependent i stand in my power you need to come back into your power you should not depend on this person i can understand you may be already became very lazy you don't want to get up on your bed from your bed because this person made you in that way they may be already provided everything uh they used to bring everything to your bed so now you don't know, don't know how to get up get out of your bed and uh, make everything for you you need to do that okay this is a strong warning one way more than suggestion it is a warning for you because very soon you are going to if at all you still want to continue in this way then you are going to get the tower moment when this person drop this 10 of hands complete tower moment will be there so better uh it is like you need to start working on yourself coming out of that uh, codependency so let's move on to pile number 2 uh, who choose hello pile so pile number 2 their current thoughts and feelings about you and uh, karmic third party okay so here i will tell the energies based on that take what energy is yours because here i cannot say exactly this is you whatever energy is matching with you take that energy as you and other is karmic or third party okay so here the zodiac signs justice libra and other is four of cups cancer mm. one is libra one is cancer so gold you don't need someone else to fix you i connect with the unicorns <coughs> <coughs> so their current thoughts and feelings about
about <laughs> you i want to tell first okay here based on this suggestion uh, you is four of cups okay but anyway as i said in the initially take the messages based on your energy for comfortability i will take four of cups as you based on this suggestion uh, the oracle guidance okay so here uh, this person current thoughts and feelings about you is you have some issues when it comes to emotions okay even though this person may be showing lot of love towards you lot of emotions towards you not just this person maybe you already have lot of people around you who want to show that emotions love care compassion but you have some issue within yourself that you don't accept anyone's cup it is completely their thoughts and their feelings about you it may not be true okay you are not accepting the cup you may be have some different reasons okay but this person feels that maybe this person knows that you have lot of admirers around you a lot of people want to offer their cup of love to you this person knows that they are aware of that how uh, desirable you are that is also one reason they see you like a four of cups even though people are offering cup of love you are not accepting so this person thinks that you have some issue within yourself like some uh, some kind of trauma you are carrying uh, when it comes to love feelings emotions see it is completely their thoughts and current the reason why i'm again and again telling you is this card is telling something else okay <laughs> that is the reason so this person may be kept in their brain that this you have some issues with emotions that is the reason why you are not accepting the cup of love so they want to come they want to offer that helping hand more than helping and it is like they want to heal you they want to fix you Uh, they want to make you to uh, fix you to off accept that love in your life okay uh, how much it is true you know okay and the uh, other person that karmic their current thoughts and feelings about the karmic is justice so they did something wrong to the karmic personality okay take the messages who oh, whichever energy is matching so they think that this karmic whomever in your connection who whomever the third party they did something wrong to that third party so now their current thoughts and feelings about that third party is they want to make the things right with this with this person okay if at all in the past they did they failed to do some things certain things in the in case of third party in case of karmi now this person want to take that steps and uh, make the scales balance if at all in the past this person failed to show that love care emotions to the third party because of that now they are feeling that they did some injustice to the third party that karmic and now they want to offer that love emotion or the position whatever it may be okay they uh, whatever they feel that doing that is justice in the situation with that third party with that karmic they want to do that at least their thoughts and feelings are like they want to do the justice to the third party to the karmic and what kind of justice you know better than me because you are dealing with if at all you don't know that there is a third party <laughs> you won't watch because here the reading itself is like you versus karmic so definitely you know someone is existed so you know what they did maybe as simple as here i am getting the message strong message okay uh in their perception i am telling <coughs> the person's energy this person is in love with you they want to have that beautiful loving caring emotional bond with you okay they offer that cup of love to you maybe this person knows you from very long that is also one reason they know how many people want you how many people desire for you they also became one of them and they want to offer their cup of love to you you did not accepted that cup that cup so May, when you are dealing with this person when they are offering cup of love to you maybe that third party third person that karmic came into this person's life someone who is interested in this person that person came into this person's life they may be offered that cup of love to your person okay because here i'm not seeing they are engaged because you are still not accepted their cup that is the reason i'm telling okay they are single you are also single maybe the third party also single so three people it is like a triangle but it is not a, exactly into the connection they are offering cup to you you are not accepting this person still single because you did not accepted their cup 
and the someone interested in this person because this person your person is still single so they someone interested in this person so they try to offer the cup to this person but in the past this person want to offer cup to you because they know you and you have so many desirable people maybe they have feelings for you you they have emotions for you that is also one reason they did not accepted that cup i can say or they did not show much interest in that third party whoever that karmic that is also one reason they may be spent much time with you or they try to convince you to take that cup or they they try to impress you to accept their cup of love they may be whatever they can do in that situation they try to do everything to accept their cup of love from your side okay that is the past you did not accept it now this person in their brain they finally fixed something that you have some issue with emotions or you have some kind of trauma in your in within you where you need some healing that is the reason why you are not accepting their cup because you not accepted their cup not just their cup you did not accepted any one's cup and uh, present current situation i am speaking and now when they are thinking about the third party that third party try to offer that cup of love to this person so this both people hold the cups here you are the one who is not ready to accept the cup but i think after trying some time maybe the third party drop that third party maybe took their cup back now you are person thinking about the third party to go and offer that cup of love because in the past when they are getting that cup they did not took that cup or they did not acknowledge it that love whatever it may be they feel they felt that they are feeling that some kind of injustice i hope uh, this person have genuine feelings that's that's the fact even though we are doing here you versus karmic this person intentions are very genuine okay here this person is not they hold feelings for you they hold love for you but you are not accepting then what they can do maybe they tried meanwhile they may be lost someone who is genuinely caring feelings for them that third party that karmic now when it comes to the two parties about you they are thinking that you have some issues so you need to heal to accept that cup and they rejected that cup that third party cup so now they want to offer that cup of love to that third party that karmi and want to make things balance so that they can give that justice to the third party i hope you are understanding so here uh, yeah one way it is like third party but it is not uh, no one is connected no one is in the um, committed connection okay it is like love triangle just not even accepted anyone okay <laughs> because you did not accept it their love Uh, they did not accept it third party love uh, now i cannot say third party is dealing with someone else or not <laughs> it is completely depends okay so here uh, the suggestion for you is you know you don't need someone else to fix you so here that is what i said in the initially also either you have some kind of trauma or not i don't know but this person feels that you have trauma you carry some kind of trauma uh, that should be healed but the thing is you no need to do any actually if at all you have also you no need someone else to come and fix you here you may be have something for yourself maybe you have see everyone will have some so and so person in our mind that i want this kind of person maybe you carry some kind of vision for your life so you are just concentrating on that vision that is also one reason you are not concentrating on other things that can be the case but here this person you did not you are not taking anyone's cup that is the reason this person feeling that you need healing you need some kind of fix so they want to fix or at least they think that you need some kind of healing but here the suggestion is don't just forget about this person strong suggestion okay i can understand here you are not interested it is completed it is your own wish it is your own wish own desire uh, forget about this person because this person want to make things right with this third party whomever they may be they are going to do it or not it is completely depends on them but in your case you don't need someone else to fix you maybe this person some way they told you or they did something um, to make you to feel that you have issue within yourself that you need healing then just forget about all those things maybe out of frustration they may be told you because someone is already offering cup to them and instead of taking that cup they are offering their cup of love to you 
so be, because of uh, all those frustration they may be told you that you need healing sometimes it will happen okay because people are every time they want to be in a good mood no matter how cool that person may be sometimes they will get out of that control okay so here for you you don't need anything you just need to connect with the unicorns that is nothing but you need to connect with your uh, higher self okay you need to listen to your intuition maybe here you need something more than anything here i think you want or you need something and you may be in a confusion what exactly you want out of your life or what exactly what kind of partner you want so that is also one reason even though you have so many cups you are not accepting anyone's cup so here the strong su suggestion for you is don't let anyone to come into your life and tell that they want to fix you don't let anyone to come don't let anyone to tell those words to you because you are enough whatever you may be you are enough as however you may be you are enough and you just need to connect with your higher self that is with your intuition you just need to listen to your intuition okay no matter how long you know this person whatever be the situation even though this person comes to you and tell that you, you need some kind of healing i am ready to fix you don't entertain anyone because you need to listen to your intuition you are here you don't need anyone's help that is the reason you don't need someone else to fix you you are complete wherever you are whatever you are you are okay maybe that is how you should be in your life but everyone is unique some people think that no people should be like this only it doesn't mean that they need healing <laughs> okay they need to fix something <laughs> as simple as i am 42 i am not married it doesn't mean that everyone is getting married in in their 20s some people feel that they she she should uh, she need some kind of uh, counseling so that they can she can get married maybe she is carrying some kind of uh, uh, doubts about marriage wrong thoughts about no i don't carry any kind of wrong thoughts bad thoughts about marriage i respect marriage that is also one reason <laughs> i am ready to wait for the right person i don't want to get into the wrong person <laughs> it is our pro uh, we know that uh, people don't know that they think that why why they are not getting married i am showing lot of interest i am expressing my feelings why they are not interested so they need some kind of healing it is there here i am not seeing this person is a wrong person or uh, their intentions are wrong they they are, have genuine feelings but when they are getting genuine love there is a i am not saying they rejected more than that maybe they did not appreciated it and when they are giving genuine love to you you did not appreciate it so they get hurt and that that time they understood that how much that karmic got hurted when they they are not appreciated that third party love so it is like little bit of uh, one way it is like a one kind of a cycle uh, we can say like a cycle you rejected their cup they rejected the third party cup right when you rejected their cup they felt bad then they realized that how much the third party felt bad when they rejected that third party cup so it is like a lesson i can say one way but it is not a karmic lesson again it is simply to know the uh, worth uh, or they know where to put ourselves where, where we should not put where to invest where should not where we should not invest so knowing that lessons learning those lessons that's it if at all you are suitable to hr job you should not go and work in the marketing department you, you should know what is your skills and uh, where your skills are much suitable that's what it is okay uh, here you no need to fix anything wherever you are whatever you may be you are complete just you connect with your higher self that intuition listen to your intuition okay pile number 2 whomever choose pile number 2 So let's move on to pile number three. Who chooses uh, blue pile? So pile number three. Who chooses blue pile? See here, I will tell <coughs> the energies based on that energy. Take which is you, okay? Because here I can answer exactly. This is your energy. Or this is you. So whatever energy matching with you, that is your energy. Other is karmic. okay so their current thoughts and feelings about you versus karmic here uh, the zodiac signs are strength leo and the seven of swords aquarius okay and uh, evil king you deserve sugar not salt mm. i accurate okay i tune to archangel Met metatron today so here i want to take your energy based on the advice card strength okay So 
so this person current thoughts and feelings about you but anyway take the messages based on your energy this person feels that you are a very strong personality you are very courageous person very strong very courageous very it is like a divine feminine you know how to handle the situation you know how to tame the people you know how to take all the situations under your control there is no one who can beat you or there is no one who can control you because you are the controller you have some kind of protection because you have that courage confident a uh, lot of protection more than anything lot of protection that's why i said in the initial itself it is like a divine feminine energy no matter whether you are a man or woman but this person feels that you are you carry the divine divine feminine energy which is like everything should come to me i'm not going to chase anything that is divine feminine divine feminine never going to chase anyone or anything it will come to the divine feminine so this person sees you in that energy that divine feminine energy maybe in the past how they are they used to see that's a different but at least their current thoughts and feelings about you is like you are like a divine feminine for them the most strongest courageous person on this on this planet no one can beat you <laughs> okay no one can win against you and you can get whatever you want if at all this person is a devil you can tame that devil like anything this person this devil also become a small kid in front of you that's how this person sees you they think and feel about you very strongest courageous feminine and the other energy the karmic seven of swords so this karmic is very much manipulative liar cheater or one way scammer uh it because it is seven of swords thief energy maybe this person used to steal something from them or they maybe do some kind of manipulation to get something from them they, this person may be dealt with this person that is also one reason now this person sees because these two energies are completely different quite opposite one is a thief one is a divine now you can understand okay one belong to 5d one is belong to 2d <laughs> that uh, that underworld <laughs> one is belong to 5d spiritual world so two different energies maybe this person already dealt with both of you as much as time they need so now this person got one kind of clarity about you both because here more than love passion and all i am seeing lot of mental thoughts here this strength also they are not seeing they are not feeling thinking about that loving passionate feeling towards you they are seeing your worth they are seeing your courage the confident the worthy how worthy you are how special you are how unique you are how divine you are it is completely the personality that's why i'm telling this person may be already spent time at least they spent time in observing you both people okay it may be third party or it may be simply they had two options this person may be have two options they may be kept taps on two people let's see what this person is doing let's see what this person is behaving how this person is doing how this person is doing so in that way they observed a lot that is the reason your energy is also like there is no love there is no passion nothing their thoughts and feelings are not love not passion more than those things your personality okay so other personality the karmic is like seven of swords this person sees that karmic as a thief this person do lot of that karmic do lot of shady shit behind the closed doors they may be do lot of manipulations they may be scam them they may be already steal something from them that can be finances that can be anything or at least they may be told lot of lies to your this person <coughs> and this person understood finally they came to know about this person's nature that karmic's nature this person is not a trustworthy they don't even know what is loyalty they don't even know a actually this third party is not even in the connection they may be in with this person just to because of out of something that something can be anything like money like materialistic stability like something which is very beneficial for this thief as simple as maybe status <laughs> because this is a thief underworld person if this person is tie up with someone who is a very public like a public figure no one can find out that this person is underworld <laughs> this person is a thief right because they can hide behind that 
public figure okay <laughs> so something they want something out of that person that is the reason why this karmic dealing with this person so this person understood in the past i don't know but now this person finally understood the difference between you that's why i'm not telling here that love emotion feelings and all more than that they understood the difference between you and the karmic see here the thing also the seven of swords also leo okay and moreover this person is a manipulative so when you both know that this person is dealing with both people there is a huge chances that this seven of swords person that karmic can be act like you because this is a manipulative person this karmic can dress like you this karmic can behave like you this karmic can act like you this karmic made them to think that you are the right person for them or you are the original divine feminine if at all this person is dealing with divine feminine if this person is a divine masculine then this person this karmic have all the abilities and skills to make this person to think that this thief this karmic is the real divine feminine that is the reason i said this seven of swords itself is a manipulative energy so maybe this karmic did all those things to make you to believe that they are the original divine feminine you are the karmic it happens moreover here th maybe here you are like you are all in your energy you don't give a f about anyone because you know your worth you no need to prove you no need to do something to prove that yes i am the original no need to do original no need to try actually original things never try to prove that they are the original and the moment uh, someone is trying to prove that they are the original that is the sign that is not the original that is the duplicate <laughs> because original never try to never try to this manipulative karmic in the past maybe they did it everything whatever you are doing maybe they are followed you or they maybe behaved like you uh, they may be showed that courage confidence strength everything and they may be made you made this person to believe that yes i am the divine feminine you are my divine masculine and that person is a karmic and this person may be believed everything and in the hey yeah, in the see even while time moves everything will come out no matter what it is lies will come out truth will come out who is true who is false who is original who is duplicate everything will come out so maybe it took a lot of time for this person to understand who is who is the original who is the duplicate because here i am again and again i am getting that who is the original who is the duplicate and the card also you deserve sugar and not salt and sugar and salt both look alike right we we know that sugar and salt both look same it is very difficult to decode which is the salt uh, by tasting because when you take that powdered sugar salt sugar looks same until unless you won't taste you don't understand which is the sugar which is the salt so here the card also this guidance also you deserve sugar not a salt now this person is understanding maybe this person as i said in the past because of the seven of sword manipulative karmic they thought that this karmic is their original divine feminine and they went with that they choose that divine this karmic as their original divine feminine and when they are dealing with this person they understood that actually this is not the divine feminine because it is a thief that is the reason why maybe this person dealt both here i am not saying they are dealt with one person as i said they kept observation on both the people who is the who is salt who is sugar <laughs> so because both are white <laughs> so without tasting i cannot tell who which is sugar which is salt so this person also tried both the people <laughs> whenever they tried they may be found the sugar that's sweet whenever they tried karmic here and there they may be look like they may be behave like a salt, sugar also when they taste it will a salt <laughs> it will become salt again so uh, they understood finally they came to the uh, conclusion that one is sugar one is salt <laughs> like one is original one is duplicate so now the, this person understanding that uh, this person uh, actually one way it is like it is completely depends on your situation because again i'm telling here we got called evil queen you deserve sugar not salt okay he, as i said sugar and salt look both same way until unless we won't taste we cannot tell which is the sugar which is a but it doesn't mean that 
sugar is the good thing salt is the bad thing both have their own essence both have their own taste both have their own uh, unique nature okay so now for you forget about this person because here i am strongly getting message that maybe they did something wrong to you okay because you are a divine feminine and here this person dealt with a thief maybe by testing they maybe did something wrong to you at least this person may be also like a thief because here strongly getting message you deserve sugar not a salt so you should not choose this person whomever watching pile number 3 i can understand uh, because when we see mostly in the third parties as per my knowledge my experience whenever i see third party situations actually those people are not interested in that man but only to make other person to lose other person to make jealous they show lot of love to that man actually that nothing is existed in both of them they also know that they just want to hurt other women i saw so many incident that's why i'm telling again you should think that here this person understood that you are the original divine feminine and this person other person karmic is a thief and they try to come back also use your discernment because here you deserve sugar not a salt maybe this person already treated you in a very bad way which you don't deserve that kind of treatment okay so that's why i'm telling use your discernment even though this person identify your uh, original value or worth it doesn't mean that you should give them a chance again and again i'm telling here you may be have something better maybe here you are like a strength a divine feminine you may be have divine masculine maybe this person is not a divine masculine that can be the thing so you here you are already a divine feminine this person also knows that you also know that that is also one reason you no need to you did not try to prove anything in this situation that's a great thing you are in your strength or you are at least to you stand in your ground you did not lost your strength you may be have something better for you universe may be already uh, kept something better for you let them deal with this karmic thief because your strong message is you deserve sugar not this person okay yeah i can i understand because when you are watching karmic readings you are no 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 that dark karmi should not win in this situation i should win even though i don't want that idiot i should win <laughs> so don't get into that things may you feel all you are divine feminine you definitely not going to get into that kind of shit so le let's move on to pile number 4 who choose red pile so pile number 4 who choose red pile so here i will tell the energy based on the take which energy is matching with you because here i cannot say exactly it is your energy okay i will tell the energy based on that understand your own energy so here the zodiac sign four of pentacle capricorn two of wands so two of wands aries and the garden something lovely will grow from this i wear mother mary's mantle of love and enfold others in it so here uh, i will take you as two of wands because you choose red and whatever the guidance oracle guidance is telling based on that mm, i will take you as two of wands but still take the messages based on your energy okay so here uh, their current thoughts and feelings about you so this this person sees you as two of wands very passionate fiery courageous confident person and well balanced person okay you are well balanced with your logical as well as your emotional mindset uh, and moreover it is like you are very very much ready to learn something new 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 things make new friendships go new places it is like ready for the new things in your life ready for the new life here even though it is like watching karmic reading you versus karmic their current thoughts and feelings you may be just simply watching it is not that you are you want this person you kept lot of hopes on this person that's why you are watching because here i am seeing your energy at least that person seeing you as a like free spirited or at least you are ready for the new connections if this person is not coming it doesn't mean that you are sitting and waiting for that person you are ready to get into the new connections 
this person is seeing in that way mm, they, their current thoughts and feelings are like you are ready for the new connections you are ready for the new adventure you are ready for the new passionate things that can be anything it not just about the connections if at all it is about the some kind of idea you want to start some business and you got some new business partner you are ready to get into that you are ready to jump into the project and you are ready to take that partnership so you are ready for anything new and here you are holding lot of wisdom also it is not just courage confident passion you hold lot of knowledge in your hand where you know how to handle the people you are like a street smart who ever comes in your life you are very good at handling them whatever relationship it may be at the same time you are like a ready to learn the things at the same time you are ready to share that knowledge with others you are ready to share your knowledge you are ready to take other person other people's like right? it is like a transferring knowledge you are ready to learn you are ready to teach that energy okay see they are seeing in a very good light very much single ready to mingle kind of energy okay and when it comes to uh, karmic they are seeing this karmic as a four of pentacle very clingy personality or at least a codependent personality this karmic is completely codependent on them or at least this person is very materialistic this third party is very materialistic uh, they want only money from them they they are with this person just for the sake of money Uh, because they have a lot of love for the materialistic things and uh, this at least that karmic feels uh, that your person can give that materialistic stability to to them or they get that materialistic stability from your person that is the reason why they are staying with them see how the karmic is really feeling it's a different thing your person's current thoughts and feelings about the karmic okay maybe here they are not getting out of here your person is not getting anything with that connection with the karmic connection because that person itself is like a four of pentacle that karmic not sharing anything with this person with your person they are very much shallow personality or they hold lot of insecurities fears that is also one reason they don't share anything including their own feelings the third party is simply treating your person like a materialistic thing and that too maybe your person became the third party's comfort zone that is also one reason they are keeping your person in their life other, other than that there is nothing more than in between them at least your person thinks feel about the third party karmic because it is four of pentacle they are very clingy if at all this person want to leave also your person want to leave also that person not letting that karmic not letting you were person to leave them because you are they dependent on your person i hope you are understanding when you when you when it comes to you you are very much free that is a different it is like one person is completely codependent one person is completely independent you don't want anyone if at all your person comes okay if at all your person don't come also okay because you have your own life but when it comes to karmic it is not that way you, you that karmic need your person maybe your person is paying all the bills of that karmic maybe your person is giving that financial stability that karmic so that is also one reason that karmic is completely codependent on your person now they don't want to leave your person even though your person don't want that karmic also that, that karmic became clingy no 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 you cannot leave me because it is not that again it is not about love passion not out of love out of need more than love it is like out of need this is need four of pentacles they need your person because of that materialistic things but here you are very much free you don't need anyone you don't need someone to come and pay your bills you can earn very, you are very much uh, you can earn very well by yourself you can pay your own bills moreover you are ready to do that partnerships business make connections you can go anywhere wherever you want it is it doesn't mean that someone need to come and take you out maybe in this karmic when it comes to this karmic everything is your person maybe this karmic want to go out also they need your person if at all your person is taking them out then only they can go out or else they cannot go out because this person this third party is completely depend codependent on your person that is also one reason here this person now understanding maybe in the initially it may be uh, <coughs> this person did not realized it but when they met you because it is a third party reading means someone is already with them 
I think here that someone is take the message because you are watching I cannot say you are the karmic okay <laughs> it is like again I am triggering <laughs> the collective <laughs> I don't want to trigger the collective that's why I said in the initially whatever energy is matching with you take that okay so here even though you are a karmic also here you are not that you want your person you are very much okay with your life if at all they come it is okay if at all they won't come also it is okay there are a number of people in the world you are not completely depend on them but when it comes to karmic they are completely depend on your person the two out of this need out of this materialistic things materialistic stability maybe that's why i said maybe that person is taking care of this person materialistically they may be paying all their bills taking care of that materialistic needs of karmic that is the reason this person completely depend on them now this person seeing the difference between you and this person maybe in the initially in the earlier maybe you, this person thought that uh, whatever the uh, that karmic they are sh but when you enter into their life they understood that more than anything it is like a lesson okay uh, not for you more than for you for the karmic for this person okay your entry into this person's life is lesson for this person the lesson is uh, understanding the difference between the healthy relationship or healthy relationship and codependency okay maybe this person don't know uh, the meaning of healthy relationship and when this this karmic is with them because of that materialistic things they are completely codependent maybe that person thought that this karmic need them because they love them they completely depend on them so they cannot leave that person and uh, out of that they thought that this is the bond this is the connection because this karmic cannot leave them i cannot live without you that is love but here i cannot live without you it is not love it is need materialistic need <laughs> maybe this person don't know the difference that is the reason maybe universe send you in this person's life like a third party because here i am not seeing you as a third party because you are you are you are very much free here you are not in this connection you are completely a single person maybe this person want you now the reason is you are completely independent you are single independent and you don't depend on anyone and you maintain that healthy connection and this person now understanding the difference between the healthy and unhealthy connection now this person understanding that karmic is completely unhealthy in their life because they are not moving anywhere and they are not letting that person to move anywhere but when it comes to you you are very much passionate fiery you are ready for the new things so now this person understanding the difference between the healthy and unhealthy relationships so here more than this karmic third party here it is like a, you are a lesson to this person to show that how to maintain the healthy relationship or at least how to identify the healthy relationship healthy connections so here forget about what is going to happen between this person and the karmic okay it is their own karmas they need to learn the lessons okay but when it comes to you something lovely will grow from this so here if i am not seeing that you got hurt uh, you are still carrying something in uh, about this connection about this situation but still if because now you are completely single you are looking for the new things at least you prepared yourself for the new things somewhere in your mind anywhere you kept that feeling that this is a at least you expected something out of this connection and you did not got anything uh, this person may be not gave whatever you expected from this person no need to worry okay because here still there is a life lot of life for you i no need to tell because you already know uh, because you already have lot of wisdom in your hands so you know here you just you, instead of regretting here i am not seeing maybe in the past you did that regression pain maybe you gone through but now you understood that if at all not also if at all because this person current thoughts and feelings are like you are ready to move on or you are ready for the new connection if at all still you are not in that energy come into that energy because you can get a number of people because you hold lot of knowledge someone simply cannot think about you in that way until unless you won't hold that energy right so you have that knowledge you have that courage you have that confidence you have that passion you can get anyone in your life 
so you can start your life in a new way you no need to worry about the past what happened so someone did not um, fulfill their promise or someone did not came into your life it doesn't mean that you no need to think about the love life and all or you no need to think about the relationship and all you can because this person have their own problems they already have someone in their life like a codependent who is not ready to leave them why you want to uh, stuck in that kind of loop because it is a loop that codependency that are uh, toxic things that devil energies addictions these all are loops karmic loops and it is a great thing that you are not get into that loop it's a blessing that you may be already understood you came out of it so instead of i no need to give but still just spread that law carry that law more than spread still carry that law don't uh, uh, close the door of that love okay because sometimes happen when we are genuine when we give genuine love to someone and they turn up or they fail us so we think that it is waste of timing to invest in love and all so don't get into that kind of feelings okay just forget it is a, as i said that's why in the initially i took it as a lesson you enter into this person's life to show them what is the healthy relationship what is unhealthy connection you universe used you as a lesson for this person to know the difference between the health healthy and unhealthy connection that's it i can understand meanwhile you may be got some kind of disappointment when it comes to love because it is a connection you are a very passionate fiery person so now you may be completely concentrated on your career and you may be not concentrating on love so my suggestion is open your heart chakra keep open that heart chakra keep your heart doors open because there is a number of people who understand love who is like you who can understand that love who can understand that feelings here i am not telling again this person don't understand the only thing is maybe this person understand your love but they cannot come to you the reason they already stuck with this four of pentacle person who is very clingy they are not letting them to come towards you then why you want to keep you want you no need to keep yourself stuck in this situation because you are very much free you are not stuck in this situation like that person it is their karma they, they should deal with it not you you may be have something better in your life based on your energy okay so just keep your open heart keep that love uh, don't get any kind of negative thoughts about love relationships and all okay because you are not a person to get into third party i understood the energy <coughs> so let's move on to pile number 5 uh, who choose uh, green pile so pile number 5 here i will tell the energies based on that take the energy whichever matching with you okay here i cannot say exactly this is you <coughs> so here the zodiac sign is the high priestess cancer nine of wands sagi tower unplug and relax for a spell i'm visiting my trans retreat in my sleep tonight so here uh, this person's current thoughts and feelings towards you versus the karmic mm. it is little bit tricky uh, <laughs> for me at least i am feeling little bit um, <coughs> it's okay see here i want to take you as a uh, nine of wands energy and uh, third party as a the high priestess because anyway the high priestess itself sometimes it is like a secret lover okay uh, so here what this person thinks about you her thoughts their current thoughts and feelings about you you so you are very guarded towards them you are not trusting them maybe you came to know about this third party that is also one reason or something happened in between you both of you that is also one reason you are not uh, opening your uh, heart chakra or at least you are not showing any kind of uh, signs to them you are completely guarded you kept that wall you built one big wall uh, <coughs> between you and them now you don't not letting this person to come into your life you are like 
you sh- i don't trust you you should not come into my life that kind of energy you are carrying nine of wands okay you don't want to deal with this person or at least you don't want to deal with anyone but anyway we are talking about you and uh, the kar- karmic and with this person so at least this person thoughts and feelings are you are not letting them to come to you and talk to you maybe in the past you had great connection you maybe used to share everything with them but as of now their current thoughts feeling like you are not entertaining them you are completely guarded you are not sharing anything to that person okay moreover you are one way it is like a scared of them okay why you are scared of them completely depends on your situation okay why you are scared of them because here they are seeing you like you are you became like a warrior now if they come you are going to beat them literally you are going to beat them you are going to fight with them uh, to not letting them to come into your life that way they are see their thoughts feelings about you became like a warrior uh, that to wounded warrior that's why i'm telling maybe in the past you don't know the third about the third party maybe you recently come to know about the third party that is also one reason now you are like i'm not going to trust because i thought that you were a very loyal person but you kept someone you brought someone into the third party so that's why i'm not going to trust you or that is also one reason you may be not letting this person to come into your life and the other energy is like the high priestess this person is very silent what their person the, your person this person's current thoughts and feelings about that karmic is that karmic is very mysterious they are not telling anything to your person or at least they may be very spiritual person or they may be like psychic like me so they are not understanding what is happening with this third party whether the karmic is interested in them or not whether their karmic is <laughs> that karmic is still want them or not whether they ka- that karmic what kind of feelings that karmic is holding for your person or not because here i am not seeing that uh, this high priest is, is is in love with your person because here this person is completely secretive they hold the feelings or not even this person also don't know your person also don't know that whether that the karmic is holding feelings for them or not maybe they want to go towards karmic because you are not letting your person to come into your life you don't want to deal with them maybe they want to go towards that karmic but when it comes to karmic karmic not telling anything karmic not showing any kind of emotions karmic not not even giving any kind of signs that they are interested in them or not they are completely mysterious secretive so it is completely depends they really hold the feelings or not okay so that those thoughts they are holding their current thoughts and feelings about it so here i'm not seeing anything much happening in the situation more than anything it is like everyone is like a in their own energies and your person is like don't know to whom towards whom they should go because maybe in the past they had you and uh, they may be lost the trust because here i am seeing trust issue nine of hands is one way trusting issue trust issue now you are not trusting them you lost all the trust with that person that is also one reason you are carrying that complete trust issues you are not letting that person to come if at all even though you are staying with that person also you are not sharing anything with that person you may be just treating them like a roommate if at all you both are staying at home same roof also you are treating them like a roommate and at least roommates will share so many things <laughs> but here you are not sharing anything at least they are not even understanding what is happening in your life whether you need something or not because you are completely i am not trusting you i don't want to deal with you and this person when they want to go towards that person also don't know whether that that high priestess person whoever that mysterious person really they are holding feelings for them or not they really have love for them or not i don't know how <laughs> this situation become karmic third party i don't know this completely depends on your situation because here i'm not seeing that uh, here whether your person is holding feelings for anyone or uh, you are holding feelings for your person or this this high priest is holding feelings for your person because here more than anything maybe sometimes it happens okay the reason is if at all you are dealing with your person okay you both maybe had some beautiful connection and uh, a lot of passion you both had lot of passion beautiful connection but suddenly you came to know that your person showing interest to this third party someone who is like a spiritual person 
there is a different things people suddenly became interested in spiritual subject when they will get attracted towards those things no matter who is speaking about those wherever they are getting that knowledge they will drawn towards that knowledge okay if people are get people uh, getting interested in tarot readings they continuously start watching tarot readings they don't care whose tarot readings they are watching whether they are subscribed or not whether they like it or not they simply try to watch all the tarot readings because they they started some kind of interest uh, uh, f- like f- they started to feel some kind of interest towards the tarot readings towards the predictions towards the spirituality so it is it, it, these things are s- sudden realizations are sudden things it is not which is making some kind of plans like we want to pursue some degree means we need to make some plans we need to make some strategies we need to prepare some exams so then we will get go to that exams then we will clear that exams then we will get this is a spirituality uh, it will happen sudden epiphany if, if at all your person got some kind of sudden realization sudden thought about this as simple as maybe your person from childhood they may be had interest about that unknown things mysteries but while going while growing up we will forget about all those things we will become busy we will get into this practical world we will do our practical things and uh, suddenly somewhere something they saw again that interest that childhood interest came back into their life about that mystery is about that spirituality about that uh, everything about the spirituality they want to know the unknown things maybe here same thing happened to your person also that's how they drawn towards this high priestess if at all this high priestess is a spiritual guru or they are like a tarot reader like me or they hold some spiritual knowledge where they can share that spiritual knowledge to the people so they drawn towards that person so here slowly slowly we will fall into love with our teachers you know that in our school also whoever teacher explain the subject very well we fall in, into love with the teacher it is not that kind of love which is like we fall into love with one guy one girl it is not that love we just love the teacher because the teacher whatever they explains we understand very well the way they explain maybe other teachers also teach the subjects but the one teacher who teach the way they explain we better understand that so that's how they connect we connect with our gurus sometimes so here also maybe your person get into interest get interested into that spiritual knowledge and all and meanwhile they may be interested in this spiritual gurus knowledge i hope you are understand it is not about the connection more than that that person is interested about this person knowledge the mystery this person hold lot of knowledge about the spirituality and your person is very much interested to know about the mystery so the connection the interest lead your person towards this person now i cannot say what kind of relationship they share but it is as of now at least it is like a guru and student your person want to learn your person want to know the mystery from this person you may be either you may be took it in the wrong way or your person may be felt that connection as a love connection it is completely depends on yourself because here i am not seeing any kind of cups moreover from your side it is a wands you may be have lot of passion in this connection you may be showed lot of you may be carried lot of passion you both may be carried lot of passion in this connection here there is no passion no cups nothing no swords it is spirituality complete spirituality maybe when your person get interested into that spirituality and all your person connected with this spiritual guru it happened that's why i gave that example beautiful example how we fall in love with our teachers because they connect with us that's way that's how they connect with the spiritual guru now you are like 
no 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 you are in love with this person you brought someone in our life like a third party so <laughs> here i'm not seeing exactly third party it may be uh, exactly i'm not telling i'm not denying that it is false because they hold love for this person but uh, but it is not the love what the love you are thinking this teacher they want to learn they are interested in this subject that's why maybe they are spending lot of time with this this person's knowledge more than you because here the other card also they need to connect with their third eye and they need to open their heart chakra or at least it is completely this card is like a spiritual card here you need to understand the difference between spirituality and 3d connections maybe here you lack that understanding or knowledge more than anything because that is the reason why here uh, the suggestion for you also unplug and relax for a spell you are thinking it is like a overthinking the things you need to take some time for yourself relax you will come to know about the situation you will better understand the situation what exactly it is because here you are like overthinking the things and you became like a warrior you are like no i am ready for the fight how come you are going to bring someone in your life how come you are going to show lot of interest in that person other than me so you are thinking in a 3d level i am not telling you are thinking in a wrong way but you are completely in the 3d but it is completely in the 5d so you should understand the difference maybe your person need to learn some lessons in the 5d level this is a time which will help you and your person in the 5, 3d level they need to connect with themselves more that is the reason maybe you never send this person into the, your person's life because the spiritual gurus won't come in our life suddenly that's why i said in the initially the spirituality is not like a degree that you need to have some strategy when you want to enter join in some btech you will have that strategy you need to complete intermediate so and so marks you need to get mset rank you need to write mset you need to get some rank then you will have plan which college you need to join which course you need to take everything it is like a strategy but when it comes to spirituality this is sudden thing completely a sudden thing maybe your person became spiritual your person started to understand the spirituality and understanding their own self here you are still in the 3d that is the reason you are making things worst in the 3d level because here i am not see third party situation in the 3d level third party not existed it is all in your head that is also because of overthinking nothing is existed with this person it is your own overthinking that you are thinking your person is interested in this person unplugged and relax you need to take some time for yourself because here you are like a nine of wands you already like wounded warrior why i cannot say why you became wounded warrior because of this situation you became wounded warrior are you already dealt with lot of people in your life who already cheated you and now you trusted this person and now this person also cheated you no actually it is your overthinking you may be thinking that earlier i got betrayed in the same way so now this person also going to betray me that is the reason why they are dealing with this high priestess no this is a this is a 5d connection this connection is helping your person to become a better version of themselves you even you can learn from your person or from this person so that you can come out of this nine of wands energy you we no need to live our life like a warriors yeah i am ready for the fight don't know who is come going to come tomorrow don't know who is come going to come next moment so i need to take one stick in in my hand or one sword in my hand and ready to fight for it. no we no need to do all those things we are here on this planet to love experience the life experience the love experience that um, compassion 
becoming empathetic towards each other not like a war years i am ready for the fight we are not in the military right we are not in the army that every time e when army also they know that they will get the signals then only they will hold the guns and they will <laughs> come into the border rs they will also do lot of fun because i have friends in army <laughs> so here you are living life like a wounded warrior like don't know who is going to come next moment i am ready i should be ready with the saw, with this band so that i am ready to fight no need to live your life like that okay so maybe here it is a, when your person became better version of themselves when they understand the more they understand themselves the more they are going to help you to become better version of yourself then you no need to live in this nine of wands energy because we no need to live in the nine of wands energy we should live with cups nine of cups that content satisfied happy loving life not this nine of wands like a, i born on this planet to protect myself you no need to there is a universe universe we just need to spread that love we just need to carry that love universe will be there if anyone is try to do any harm to us universe will take care of them so here come out of that overthinking that's the reason here the the suggestion also unplug and relax for a spell you need to take some relax time take take time for yourself relax yourself and uh, then your brain will allow you to think something in a calmer way instead of overthinking instead of thinking whomever your person is talking uh, you are overthinking that this person may be having your person may be having connections with so and so people leave people if at all they are going with third party let them go they are going to lose the worthy person why you are worrying about all those things okay take time for yourself you no need to be like nine of wands so thank you for watching for more readings you can like and subscribe for personal readings you can mail me you will find the details in the description box